Welcome to this presentation. We would like to share with you further information about the following topic. Gate driver module that brings out the performance of all SIC power modules. Today's presentation is divided into three parts. Tamura Corporation Gate Driver Product Overview, Functions to bring out the features and performance of all SIC power modules, Introducing the lineup of Gate Drivers for all SIC power modules. We believe that the gate driver plays an important role at the same time as bridging the SIC MOSFET, IGBT power module and the application in which they are used. The basic role required of a gate driver is bring out 100% of the performance of the power module, increase the reliability of both the power module and the application to provide efficient development. Compared to IGBT's, SIC power modules have some challenges to drive, which makes these roles even more important. By providing a gate driver for SIC power modules, we believe that we can contribute to the spread of SIC as much as possible. Here is an overview of gate driver products. On the top, you can find a DC-DC converter which is compatible with two-in-one power modules and has two plus-minus outputs. This product is recommended for customers who design their own driver circuit. In the middle, you will find the gate driver module, which is a product in which a drive circuit is mounted on the DC-DC converter. This is the most versatile product for any power module package. On the bottom, you will see the gate driver unit, which is a product dedicated to a specific power module package that adds protection functions such as gate resistance and desaturation to the gate driver module. This is an overview of the specifications of a gate driver module. 2DMB series and a gate driver unit, 2DUB series. We have a lineup for IGBTs that match the gate voltage of IGBTs and for SIC MOSFETs that match the gate voltage of SIC MOSFET. As you can see in the overview, the output power per channel is 3.2 Watt to 3.6 Watt, which is two channel output and the total output is about 7 Watt. The peak output current is set as large as plus minus 43 Amp, so that it can easily correspond to the operation of a power module. We have raised five features of all SIC power modules. These features have both disadvantages and merits, but the disadvantages are compensated for and the merits are further utilized by the gate driver. I will explain one item at a time from the next page. Feature 1. Short circuit tolerance is lower than silicon. Since SIC has characteristics such as wide band gap, high breakdown voltage and high temperature operation, it is possible to reduce the chip area. As a negative effect, the current density increases and the short circuit tolerance that causes thermal failure decreases. Therefore, in case of SIC MOSFET, it is necessary to set the mass time of the short circuit protection function short. The waveform on the right is the load short circuit waveform of the IGBT power module. 
the short circuit mass time is generally set to 3 to 7 microseconds. The waveform on the left is the load short circuit waveform of the SIC power module. The short circuit mass time is set to 1 to 3 microseconds, which is the optimum value for SIC. Tamura's gate driver can optimize this short circuit mass time by adjusting it with an external capacitor. Feature 2 Low threshold voltage. The threshold voltage of the IGBT is 6 to 7 volts, while that of SIC is 1 to 3 volts, which means that it is necessary to pay more attention to false ignition than the IGBT. In Tamura's gate driver, the parasitic capacitance inside is reduced and the aerous arc is prevented by inserting the mirror clamp circuit. By thoroughly reducing the parasitic capacitance, noise is not transmitted to the primary side signal. The same phase gate and the other phase gate even in the switching operation set to high DVDT. The waveform is a switching waveform when the high side of a 1200 volt 300 amp SIC power module is operated at a relatively high DVDT, 15 k volts per microsecond. There is no noise in the gate voltage on the low side that causes male function. For the mirror clamp, when a rise in the gold voltage is detected during the off period, the mirror current drawing circuit is operated to prevent errors ignition. The threshold for gate voltage detection is 1.2 volts. Feature 3 Gate voltage. The fact that a low on resistance cannot be obtained with a plus gate voltage of 15 volts and that the minus gate voltage is as low as minus 5 or less. It is expected that these characteristics will be improved in the future, but it means that the gate driver for IGBT cannot be used at this time. Since Tamura's gate driver controls the gate voltage to a low voltage, the gate voltage becomes constant regardless of input voltage fluctuation switching frequency changes and output load fluctuations caused by gate charge of the power module. Therefore, the reliability of the SIC power module will be improved and low loss operation can be performed. Feature 4. DVDT can be set high. With IGBT body diodes and silicon fast recovery diodes, the recovery current is large and large losses occur. On the other hand, the all SIC power module enables high speed recovery even at high temperature. Therefore, the turn on DVDT can be set high and the switching loss can be further reduced. Also, since no tail current is generated, DVDT can be set high even during turnoff. However, with high DVDT operation, the surge voltage at turnoff rises, and there is a concern that the withstand voltage of the power module will be exceeded. The Tamura gate driver has two surge protection functions. The first is the soft turn off function. This switches to a gate resistance value higher than the normal turn off when the load is short circuit and suppress the surge voltage. Another function is the active clamp function. 
This is the function that raises the gate voltage when the surge voltage at turn off is detected at the set value and instantly turns on between the drain and source to absorb the surge voltage. Soft turn off along has a sufficient suppression effect, but by incorporating both functions, the stress of the voltage clamp element for active clamping can be reduced and more reliable surge voltage suppression operation is possible. Feature 5 overlaps with feature 4 on the previous page. But it means that high frequency operation is possible. When increasing the frequency or using a power module with a large gate charge, it is necessary to increase the output power of the gate drive. Therefore, it is necessary to specify the vertical axis with a frequency and the horizontal axis with a derating curve showing the usable range of a gate driver with gate charge. This is the derating curve of the Tamura gate driver. The gate charge of a general IGBT is about 3 microcoulomb to 15 microcoulomb. But at present, this SIC power module is in the range of about 0 0.5 microcoulomb to 2 microcoulomb. So it is possible to support sufficiently high frequency. As you can see, there is actual examples of high frequency operation. This is the lineup of gate drivers for ROMs, all SIC power modules. As you can see, we have first generation suitable for 1200 volt and second generation suitable for 1200 and 1700 volts. The gate driver unit has been evaluated for matching ROMs, all SIC power modules. We have explained that it is all for all SIC power modules, but we are also proceeding with the lineup of gate drivers that match each package of IGBT power modules too, as you can see on this slide. Thank you very much for your attention. And for further information, please visit our website.